Lebanon's prime minister says his country is ready to bolster the army's presence in the south. Prime Minister Najib Mikati told Al Jazeera it has asked the Security Council to issue a resolution for a ceasefire. Our contacts with the Americans provided us with some kind of guarantees to reduce the escalation in Beirut and its southern suburb. The results of that were clear in the recent period and a kind of de-escalation occurred. We haven't yet crystallized the final ideas to reach a ceasefire. The Lebanese cabinet has unanimously asked the foreign ministry to submit a request to the UN Security Council for a complete ceasefire on the borders between Lebanon, the occupied Palestine and Israel, and for a full commitment to Resolution 1701, together with the dispatch of the Lebanese army and the reinforcement of its positions in the south as well. We have always said that Resolution 1701 is the solution. We need to prevent more bloodshed and more destruction. Okay, joining us now here on set is Elijah Magne, who's a military, military and political analyst. Welcome back to Al Jazeera. So um, on the same day that the Lebanese prime minister was speaking, we also heard from the Hezbollah deputy chief Naim Qasim. But let's just look at what uh, Najib Mikati said for a moment. And he said that the government will request from the Security Council a ceasefire, as well as the implementation of Resolution 1701. To what extent do you think that the Hezbollah members of parliament in Lebanon would be on board with this plan? I think Hezbollah has expressed its uh, support to the 1701 through Speaker Nabih Biri uh, even before the beginning of the invasion and the bombardment that Israel carried out on the south of Lebanon as a preparation to the invasion. Because the 1701 falls into the favor of Hezbollah if Israel withdraw completely from the south of Lebanon and all the Lebanese territory and stop violating Lebanese sovereignty. Uh -huh. How likely is that? I mean, the is, Israelis always come out and say that, that Hezbollah is the one that's violating 1701 and so on and so forth. I mean, but, but calling for 1701 right now, at this time during the war, would that be beneficial for Hezbollah's position? It will, because first of all, Israel is uh, attacking Lebanon and uh, invading part of Lebanon. They went into the country for a few hundred meters. They're taking picture inside uh, Lebanese homes. Uh, we've seen the chief of staff, the head of the Shabak, uh, doing the same. And uh, we see the uh, Israeli prime minister asking for UNIFIL to leave the, their positions and even operating fire on UNIFIL. Therefore, if Israel is not respecting the 50 countries that represent, are represented by UNIFIL in the south of Lebanon, how Israel will implement the 1701. It has always been the case since 2006 that the end, the part of the Israelis was not respected and Lebanon presented more than 30,000 accusations against Israel for violating the Lebanese sovereignty. So yes, for Hezbollah, it is beneficial because at least all the refugees return to their home or they restart reconstruction. The problem is... Would they be willing to move back from the border, though? Because that is one thing that the resolution stipulates. I don't think there is a need for Hezbollah to exist if the Lebanese army is capable of defending the country. But when Israel gives orders to the Lebanese army to withdraw, and after the withdrawal, open fire is really undermining any role of the Lebanese army in the future, in particular when it is not allowed to, uh, to have weapons that are deterrent against the Israelis. When you say not allowed, I wonder if you can just elaborate on that a little bit. Well, all the weapons that come to the, Israel, to the Lebanese army come with the approval of the government and mostly from the British and the Americans. And when the Russian offered uh, jets and other countries offered to arm the Lebanese army with missiles that can deter the Israelis, then the American put pressure on the Lebanese army. And because the country doesn't want to stand against the Americans, this is why it had to submit to the American will not to have any missile that are representing a danger to the Israeli violation of its space or the Navy or to stop the Israeli from coming into Lebanon or to force them to leave the already occupied Lebanese territory. That is the problem. Okay, thank you so much, Elijah Magne. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.